putting an end to identity politics. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. My presence is charity, just who I am, just like Obama's is. Obama provides hope. Whether he does anything, the hope that he provides for a nation and outside of America is enough. There you have it. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. My presence is my charity. That's all it takes. I don't have to do anything. Oh, you want me to help saw logs and move trees off of tornadoes ravaged, uh, you know, lo- locations? No, 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 no. Me showing up makes that happen. See, because other people are going to show up and want to see me and then they're going to go to work. I don't really have to do any work. That's the way it is with Obama. If you want to summarize how leftists feel, how they see themselves in the world, that's it. I, I just I did, earlier in the broadcast, I talked about uh, King James, LeBron James. What do you say? Kids, they see me as, you know, they, they look at me. I'm the reason why they have hope. I'm the one needed in society. How would society function without LeBron James? How would society function without Jay-Z? My presence is my charity. Let me tell you something. I've gotten a lot of kids adopted. My organization has. And I'm going to tell you, it wasn't my presence that did it. It was getting in there, rolling up your sleeves and making it happen. And I'm going to tell you, there are a lot of people that are much more integral to it than I am. Lots more. But we all got in there and did it together. And there's not a single person that goes, I did it. I was the one that was needed. Did I raise money for it? Probably more than most. Sure I did. It was a passion for me. But it wasn't because, oh, these kids, they need me. No, somebody, hopefully somebody would step in and do it. Let me tell you, I'm happy to have impacted over a thousand children's lives in finding their forever families. I'm grateful that God allowed me to give that back and have that feeling. To be able to say that pr- proudly, you know, look, I help these kids because I know how I would have felt had I been separated from my brother. But, you know, we were adopted together. So I'm proud that, that you, those kids have that same feeling and that maybe they grow up and have that sense of uh, of security by keeping their families together. But let me tell you something. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Th- this is it, it, it's a lot of people that make that happen. And those kids the quite frankly, they don't need to rely anymore on me. They don't need to have any more hope as it pertains to Kevin Jackson, but not these stars, man. They want to get involved. They believe themselves to be bigger than life. Jennifer Lawrence is leaving the movie. She says, because you know, things are going great for her right now. And she's going to take some time off and become a social justice person and help get this world put into the right perspective. Yeah, she can do it. She's uniquely positioned. Let me tell you something. She was the highest paid actress for a long time. You want to, if you take out the Hunger Games, Jennifer Lawrence is an afterthought in Hollywood. And let me just break it to you guys right now that may be thinking, Kevin, I don't care. I, I wish anybody that's pursuing their craft success. You take those three movies out, she's nothing. But leave them in. And here's the dirty little secret. She's still nothing. She's a woman that people went to see a film that she happened to be in. If that makes you great, if that's the way you measure yourself, then congratulations. Because let me tell you something. Zero impact on anybody's life. Zero. Kevin, the Hunger Games did this for me or whatever. Yeah, and the next role will do something different for you. Look, it's nothing. (laughs) To quote Denzel Washington, we're actors. That's it. Don't get it twisted. We make movies. Wow, you didn't build a bridge. It's not like you're feeding the hungry, you're working with the lepers. You make films. But they find themselves important. Chelsea Handler left because she said, you know, my Netflix thing, I'm leaving that in order to go do something significant in the world because you know what? I'm tired of watching the world do what it do and I need to make a change because I know best. Why? Because I'm a comedic hack that built my career on being a Hollywood sleazy person. Again, no moral. I don't care what she does with her body. 
and with whom and with you know how many people it, that's up to her but really does that make you an expert in politics now you're going to go what impart social justice from what that perspective what are you going to teach little girls how to be promiscuous you're going to set them up for harvey weinstein what exactly does hollywood bring to the party what exactly does king james lebron bring to the party with his skill set as a prodigy in basketball that did well in basketball. What does he bring? Is he a studied academic now? And he's, which, by the way, wouldn't even make sense because there's no such thing. If you're studying politics, you don't understand it. LeBron James would bring a hardship case based on the, the teachings that have been grill, drilled into him. The stuff he paid attention to in school. You can't make it. You're a product of slavery and a lack of civil rights. And then he goes on to become a multimillionaire, maybe the first billionaire athlete. And what does he do? He laments his situation. But he says, I'm a role model. Society couldn't function without me. Why? Because he makes a lot of money. Because he's a great ball player. If basketball, if, if, if somebody banned the sport of basketball, I wouldn't miss it. And the hardcore basketball fans, at the end of the day, they wouldn't miss it. It would be like, what animal is extinct? The dodo bird? Do you miss it? (laughs) Big deal. But all these guys get so puffed up on who they are, they think that there's something special. The world is going to pay attention to them. I I looked up Jennifer uh, Lawrence's movies. Did anybody see Passengers? Yeah. Did you see Joy? Did you see Serena? No. Joy was the one she did with Robert De Niro. It it was a flop. If it weren't for the Hunger Games, nobody would know this girl's name. If Jennifer Lawrence were to go to Hollywood and act, she might very well be a box office success. But you know what you did? You did the right thing, conservatives. You said... I'm not going to go see her movies anymore. You said the same thing to De Niro. You said the same thing to Tom Hanks. And let me tell you, the movie that Jennifer Lawrence has out right now, Red Sparrow or what, I don't know what it's called. I haven't even bothered to look it up. It's going to flop. I'm going to tell you. Is it out yet? I don't know. I mean, I know it's, I've been seeing advertisements for it. If it is out, I haven't looked at the numbers on my mother's grave. I haven't, but I'll tell you this. If I go look at those numbers and it's out, it is already a flop. If it is about to come out, it's a flop. Even though they're advertising it, it is a flop. I told you what her last movie did. 7.5 million in 2,300 plus theaters, less than $3,000 a theater. It's an embarrassment. Or just over $3,000 a theater. It's an embarrassment. Hollywood embarrassment. Hunger Games launched her career. And you know what happened to Jennifer Lawrence? She got bigger than herself. She believed the press. It's really funny. They they did an article with her and Adam Sandler, who happens to be a conservative. And they said, Adam says, I don't read the uh, the reviews. I don't read what the critics. And I can get it with Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler is a quirky dude, makes quirky comedy. Uh, and I think the critics hate him because he is a conservative. But his movies are strange, but they're strangely entertaining if you like that style of film. But they're not for everybody. But he's not horrible. He's not. He's no great actor, but he's not bad. And I, I wish him nothing but luck, but he says he doesn't read them. I understand him. He knows what the game is. But Jennifer Lawrence, she's the darling of the left. And her this last movie she made, Mother, got torched by her own people. And rightfully so. And the only saving grace, you know what they say? Oh, it was a horrible film. She got tricked into doing this film by Aaron, uh, Daniel Arons, Aronsky, or what's his name? Aronsky. And she, so they're like, you know, it was a terrible movie. But her acting was okay. Her acting was pretty good. <laughs> if you are the type of person who can be the highest paid female actress in Hollywood and you can't pick the right films and then make successes out of them, But you can come out and go, you know, this is my politics and all these people that want gun control and all these people that are doing this and don't want to keep people from coming into the country with open borders and don't want to let in Muslim terrorists. You know, to heck with you. I'm going to become a political activist and do what? Continue spewing your ignorance. Name me one of the actors or actresses that you that we were debating right now that know anything about AR-15s or guns of any sort. Not one. 
Because if they did, they wouldn't be saying that. These are, these are the same weapons that that we've been deer hunting with or whatever, and they look ominous, and people go, look at that assault rifle. It's the same rifle that's a, that's a wood rifle. They look the same. And so they're just idiots. But they think they can do something because, you know what? Uh, my what, what did Jay-Z say? My presence is charity? Well, we'll see. Anyway, we got a lot more show coming up. Keep it won't stop until he's the top-rated radio talk show host in America. What kind of weird competitive freak are you? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.